It's kind of a quiche, but I just call it spinach pie. First, cook the onions and a little bit of butter until softened. Add some garlic and cook for about one more minute. Then add three tablespoons of butter. Once melted, add three tablespoons of flour and mix well. Cook that for about a minute. We're making a roux. A roux is equal parts fat, butter in this case, and flour. It's used to thicken a liquid. In this case, that's milk, one and a half cups. At this point, we're cooking the roux over medium heat. We cook it for about a minute or so. That cooks the raw flour taste out and it gives it a golden color. By the way, if you're wondering about that dark spot in the middle of my pot, it's just a well-worn pot. Nothing's burnt. Now slowly add the milk and whisk constantly. You could get lumps at this point, so make sure you add it slowly and keep whisking. Now it's okay to add the rest of the milk, keep whisking, and turn the heat up to medium high. Once it starts bubbling and starts to thicken, turn off the heat. At this point we need to taste for seasoning. It's not going to have much if any salt, so add some salt and black pepper. Don't add too much salt because we will be adding cheese later. What we've made here is a white sauce, what the French call a bechamel. A white sauce, or bechamel, traditionally has just a little bit of nutmeg in it. I don't use the pre-ground nutmeg. I have the little nutmeg nut, and I grate it in myself. Either way, just go sparingly. You don't want it to taste like a holiday pie. If you haven't already turned off the heat, go ahead and do that now. Once it's cooled a little, add in the eggs and whisk thoroughly. Next, you'll add in the cheese and later the spinach. The spinach tends to clump up, so I use my fingers to spread it out more evenly. Mix everything thoroughly. If you wanted to make it a little more Greek, you could add cooked shredded chicken and feta cheese. Keep in mind, this mixture makes two pies. So divide the mixture between two pie shells and bake at 350 degrees, 40 to 45 minutes until they're puffed and golden. I'm only baking one right now. When you pull it out of the oven, it's gonna be puffed up. That's all those eggs, kinda like the quiche. Let it set for about 10 minutes. The eggs will set, the puffiness will go down, and it'll be ready to slice. I usually eat one right away and I freeze the other one. To freeze it, cool it thoroughly, cover it tightly in plastic wrap, and then cover it in foil. Label it and put it in the freezer. As for the other one, I'm going to enjoy my spinach quiche. I mean, pie. See you next time on Kimberly in the Kitchen.